Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, and I'm an artist with Mascara Beauty. Today I am going to show you exactly what Mascara Beauty is and how I apply it for an everyday highlight and contour. It is the simplest system on the market. It consists of four or five colors to create a three-dimensional look. The products are all cream-based and they come in magnetic compacts and all of our brushes come double-ended so you are getting the best bang for your buck and you're able to do your full face with just a couple brushes. So I'm gonna jump right in and kind of explain to you what I'm doing and how I apply my makeup. Um, so bear with me here. I am going to use our B squared brush. Um, this is our blush and bronzer brush, one of our best selling brushes and honestly my favorite. Um, the more dense end is perfect for blush, but I actually like it for applying my highlight because it lays a very, um, kind of a light layer, but very even coverage and really corrects my redness, which is considerable, um, really beautifully. So I'm going to use the color Amber to go ahead and be my all over highlight. I'm going to just dip very lightly, picking up just a bit of product. And in a pushing, pressing motion, I'm going to kind of press it into my skin. Because it's a cream, it really lays on the skin beautifully. It doesn't set into fine lines or wrinkles. And as long as you have the right color, which I can certainly help you with, you will have a flawless finish. Now look at the side that is not um, color corrected. It really does cover that redness beautifully. So I have an acne spot here. I'm just going to take a tiny bit and add it there. And I'm very deliberate about my chin because with this system we're only placing the colors where we need them. And along this side of my jaw and here is actually lighter than the top of my face. So you can see there's a little bit of redness there, but it's much lighter. So I actually use a lighter color there. Our faces are not one color, so our foundation shouldn't be either. I'm actually going to come up under my eye because I went a little low with my eyeshadow today. So we just clean that up real easy peasy. And again, we're just using that stippling motion to push it into our skin. Staying away from the jawline. Now, I like a full coverage look, so I tend to put my highlight everywhere because of my redness. Our contour colors are also cream, and they have a medium coverage. So if you want to leave your contour area open, you certainly can do that. Just a little bit on the forehead. And we'll blend this out with a sponge as well to make sure we have no excess. Now I'm going to go into a lighter color called White Peach, and I'm going to take that along my jawline. Again, in the pushing, pressing motion, but watch how I push that in. And that line between the two colors totally melts together. I'm just going to take it again on my chin, avoiding where I place that product on my pimple there, because we're going to fix that. A little more acne right there. Too much time in the sun, not much time on, enough time on skincare. Okay, so our highlight is placed for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and place contour. I'm going to use the shade Ash. And if you can draw three lines, then you can contour. Temple to temple. And our contours are a thicker consistency, so you're wanting to make sure you blend those a little better. But again, we'll blend out the sponge at the end. And I'm using the detail hack here, it has a small, more detailed end, and this end has a flatter 
edge, which is perfect for finding that contour line. See that natural shadow there? We're just going to kind of stamp this there. And kind of hook it up, cupping that cheekbone. And part of having an artist like myself is really finding the best way to contour for your face shape. So for me, it's really hugging that cup, that cheekbone and staying right underneath it. And then I'm also going to take the tiny end there. We'll do this first. Whatever's left, I kind of drag into my jawline. Make sure you pull that down. Then I'm going to switch to the smaller end. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to pick up some more. I loaded up just the very edge of the brush, and I'm going to take it right down my nose to do a very simple nose contour. Nothing crazy. Now we're going to go in with our accent highlight. Your accent highlight would be is what you put under your eye, a little bit on your chin here and in your forehead, and it just brings a little bit of brightness to your face. And we're going to use the color white peach and the small end of the detail hack brush. And think of this as like rays of the sun. You're coming out. Highlighting just under the eye is actually not going to do you any favors. Especially if you have any uh, discoloration there. So you're really wanting to brighten that up. See how much brighter this side is for you. It's going to really wake up your face and add just a touch more dimension. And these are all things I've learned along the way, being an artist. In my previous video, I kind of let you know I'm just a stay-at-home mom who loved the product and needed a little me time. And that's how I became an artist. So I've learned along the way easy, attainable ways to make your makeup simple and achievable and you can look really great in a very short amount of time. Now, this part here that we kind of concealed, we're just going to kind of pat that down. And always when you're concealing acne, use a darker color. So I use that amber versus the white peach because that amber is darker. And we're just softly blending that in. And now we're going to blend up our contour. And I like to kind of cup it under the cheekbone, like I said. And I just push and press it up. Always blend your contour up when you're using your cheekbone because we're looking to lift them, not to drag them down. And it creates a beautiful shadow. And that's all you're doing is enhancing that shadow. And always make sure you're blending your contour up into your hairline and your forehead and making sure there's no line of demarcation between where your highlight and your contour meet. So you don't have a stripe, right? Next would be lip and cheek, and we're going to use the color Nude. It is, in fact, a very pretty matte nude color and great for everyday look. I'm going to use the B squared brush, just this blunt end here. Just a little tap will do ya, and I'm going to go right over that contour line. And kind of blend it into the contour. Now it's a lip and a cheek, so you can use it for both. Now I tell my clients, You'll see people say smile and then put your blush here on the apple of your cheek. If you do that, you're kind of in that triangle of light that we created with our highlight. And we don't want that. So I like to push mine back up along the contour line. And it still gives you that lovely flush without coming too close and taking the focus away. So you want your focus to be here 
and that triangle of light. And then I like to take this big fluffy end here and kind of soften everything out. And then we'll take our sponge. We just use a damp refractor sponge. Always use a damp, not dry. I get it soaking wet. It doubles in size. I squeeze it out in my hand and then I squeeze that onto a towel. And then I will usually let it rest for a little while um, to make sure that there's absolutely no water in there. And I'm just going to take that and run it over my makeup. And what this is doing is it's pressing it into my skin as well as blending it out and removing any excess so you get a beautiful natural finish. At this point you could add an illuminator. I'm not going to today, but I am going to put some of that nude on my lips. And that is my look. It takes less than five minutes if I'm not explaining it. And it's all done with four colors. We use two highlight colors, an all-over color, a brightening color, a contour color, and a lip and cheek color. And if you purchase four tints, you get your compact free. Um, I am certainly happy to color match you should you need that. Um, it is a beautiful system, super simple. If you're a mom out there that just needs just a little bit of pep in your step uh, in a simpler routine, this is definitely for you. Because let me tell you, I have two boys that are crazy and they don't leave me alone for more than a few minutes. Um, and I'm able to manage getting my face on and looking put together. And it, sometimes it just, that's all it takes to make me feel like I can conquer the day. But I cer certainly appreciate you watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, um, certainly hit that subscribe button and I will be uploading a video every week for you of simple, attainable looks for the average woman. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great rest of your week.